Today we're going to talk about manometers and manometers are devices used to measure the unknown pressures of gases relative to the atmospheric pressure. And the idea of the manometer is really simple. So this is how it works. Let's say um, we have a box like that and to this box there is an attached U-tube. And this side is a little bit higher than the contact side of the box. This is how the manometer looks like. So inside the box there is a gas of unknown pressure. So simply what happens is inside the YouTube we put a liquid of known density. Let's say mercury, for example. If there is air inside the box and here, of course, the liquid is exposed to atmospheric pressure, so the liquid will be balanced at the same point on the same sides of the U-tube. But what if there is a gas here with a pressure higher than the atmospheric pressure? So what will happen is that the uh, pressure casted by the gas over this surface of the liquid on the left side will make the liquid go downwards and accordingly the liquid will raise on the other side of the U-tube. So basically the liquid will look something like that. Now we are working on the right side because the pressure casted on the left side is the pressure of the uh, gas with the unknown pressure so we don't know the value of this pressure but let's see if we extend the line like that and put a point here so that's the liquid and the points are on the same level so of course the pressure on this side is equal to the pressure on this side at that point so easily we can simply calculate the pressure at the point here because the pressure equals the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the liquid here so we can easily calculate the height and we previously said that the liquid is of known density and of course we know gravity so if the liquid raises on the right side over the uh, left side this means that the pressure of the gas is higher than atmospheric pressure and then the pressure of the gas will equal the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the liquid at the height difference here delta H on the other hand if the pressure of the gas is lower than the atmospheric pressure the opposite will happen, the force of the pressure of the air will make the liquid rise on the side of the box more than the side of uh, the side exposed to air so the liquid will look completely opposite like that we do the same uh, criteria but here it's a little bit different so we said in the first time that the pressure of the gas equals the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of this height on the other hand here the pressure of the gas is less than the atmospheric pressure by this uh, value so the total pressure or the pressure of the gas will equal the atmospheric pressure negative the uh, pressure casted by the liquid at a certain height. So this is how to calculate the pressure of gases using the manometer. I hope it was clear for you and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you.